Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 30th. So keep in mind the timing is fluid. This could be the 30th, 31st, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, whatever. Timing is fluid. So let's just see what comes up. This is a daily reading. What do we have? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? What is about to happen if this reading is for you? Eight of Cups! Wow. Eight of Cups saying goodbye, leaving something behind. Um, not happy. This isn't good. Okay, there's there's no love here. There's no emotional fulfillment here. It's time to go. I'm leaving that behind. Definitely frustrated. There's an imbalance. Something is unhealthy. Somebody's an unhealthy. There could be some sort of illness. Definitely, probably some illness. Somebody's been trying to do too much. Um, they've been trying to adapt, but unable to adapt. There's some sort of illness here. There's somebody in a negative situation. And they're trying to keep balanced, but they're having a very hard time. There's no growth. There's a change. It's like there's a change that is needed, but there's addictions or something that is in the way. If it's not addictions, there's an unhealthy habit or somebody is just overdoing it. We may have a juggler here, somebody that is juggling two different things and it's just too much. Something has to go. It's overwhelming. Ooh, well, that's what I saw. That's what I saw at the very beginning. That was what I saw in my mind's eye when I started this reading. reading. But a lot of people don't want to hear it, so I, I just I saw it and I didn't say it, but here it is. <laughs> I should have just said it. Anyhow, um, so yeah, this is a rude awakening. I mean, this is absolutely a rude awakening. A light is going to be shed on a situation. Um, this is destruction. This is a life change that somebody has been trying to avoid. Okay, with the temperance reversed. Somebody has been trying to avoid this change, but it's going to happen. There are some definite health problems here. Um, there could be an internal disruption Okay, something internally. Okay, this is something that is exploding. Okay, there could be some sort of explosion or something like that. Um, this is, this is, uh, it feels like something is going to split right in half. Whatever it is, there's going to be a split. Saying goodbye. Because I was saying goodbye. This has to happen. This is universal change that somebody's been trying to avoid. This is also a card of extremes in reversed. This Somebody is extremely unhealthy. Maybe they have some unhealthy habits that are really affecting them. And they're about to collapse. Because this is like going to collapse. There could be a collapse of something. Now there could also be something to, this could be something at work. Okay, there, it could be at work, it could be within yourself, it could be at home. Whatever it is, there's going to be a shake up. Okay, there's going to be a shake up and something is about to collapse. Collapse is the word that I want you to remember. Okay, things, this is a change. Okay, something is about, and this is a major change that somebody has been resisting. Okay, that's clear. But this is very, very, very unhealthy. A lot of unhealthy energy here. This is a negative situation in which something has to go. Maybe there's not enough money. I don't know, not enough, not a lot of money. Maybe there's not, if it's at work, somebody could be getting laid off or they could be getting let go. But if it's not at work, um, there's, there's a lot of, of 
imbalance, put it that way, in a certain situation. And it's just, there's the, the only way to find happiness is to leave this false foundation, this false sense of security behind. And somebody has been avoiding it at all costs. And it's like the universe says, no, 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 no. You can't avoid this. It has to go. That is what the tower is. It's a necessary evil of some sort. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Six of Swords. That's moving on. Somebody is moving to a different place. Something could happen to their home or happen to their job or happen to themselves. They're moving. There is going to be some movement. And they're leaving a troublesome situation behind that was extremely unbalanced. It was extremely unharmonious. There was a lack of of purpose, okay, with the temperance reverse. It's like there was really no reason to be there anyway. There wasn't anything good about it. But somebody was, uh, well faking it they were pretending they were pretending that everything was good but it was false okay so this false foundation is about to crumble and somebody's moving and they're going someplace else it's like they're being pushed away end of a relationship there's nothing to celebrate there's no reunion either this could have to do with uh, friends. It could have to do with family. Um, the Three of Cups reversed is is it could be friends that are disguised at friend as friends, co-workers that are disguised as friends or family that you know they're your blood, but that's all it is. Okay, this is a termination of some sort. It's a termination. It could be a miscarriage. It's a lack of emotional growth. It is parting ways. Somebody is parting a ways from a unhealthy situation. This could also be, uh, well, this could be a third party situation. It could be three people. It could be a, a bunch of women that are ganging up on another one. Okay. And I would say that this is probably women. Okay. Um, Somebody's going to need to adapt to a change. They're going to need to be flexible because a change is coming. And when you get the Three of Cups reversed, be prepared for something to be terminated. Either it's a friendship, some sort of relationship. The celebration is over. The party is over. Nothing to celebrate here. Oh, there's going to be sadness and grieving and loss. Somebody's going to probably cry. Okay, there will probably be some tears shed. There could be some regrets with the Five of Cups. Somebody's going to be experiencing some um, real sadness over this universal disruption that is about to happen. There is going to be a shock. This is a rude awakening. could be dealing with a queen of wands leo aries sagittarius this person is shallow sometimes has a really big ego can be overly confident overly competitive this person throws tantrums it is very controlling self-righteous and jealous and malicious and is a liar so we have somebody and may act in a manipulative, manipulative, revengeful way because she wants to get her own way. And perhaps she's, you know, this, this is a very negative energy. Okay. We have a lot of negative. This person is going to have to adapt to a change. It's like her jealous ways, her unhealthy mannerisms. And this is unhealthy, the Queen of Wands. We have a very unhealthy person here. It feels like this person is about to experience a major life change. They are. I don't know who this person is, but this person is, might get terminated from their job or terminated from a relationship or something like that. This person is extremely unhealthy. 
This is extremely unhealthy, unhealthy, unhealthy. I'm telling you what, we have somebody here that is sick. And there's going to be a change. A lot of ups and downs with these two cards. This is ups and downs and this is ups and downs. So we have somebody here that is, they're up and they're down and they're up and they're down and they're up and they're down. And they just, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real serious roller coaster ride. But this is sadness and regrets. So there's going to be some sort of light that is shed on a situation that causes something to crumble really fast. And somebody is going to be experiencing some regrets and some sadness because of this. This is a loss, okay? Somebody is moving. may have to do with your job, okay, because this is work, putting in effort. Now somebody is, is, they are moving towards somebody that are moving towards a situation, could be a new job, I think I just said that right, or a new situation where they're going to have to work harder, they're going to have to put in more effort. This is this is the Queen of Cups is is something more emotionally fulfilling when you get the Queen of Cups. This is this is something more um that you'll love. This is also a person that I don't know, this could be a nurse, a caregiver. Somebody may be going to a hospital. That there could be a hospital involved here. To regain stability, they need to regain stability. I think that we have somebody here that needs to go to the hospital and they're going to end up in the hospital. Because they're sick and they're ill. And I think the universe is going to force something to happen so this person gets the help that they need. Somebody has been lying. They haven't been telling the truth. They could be experiencing some legal issues that don't turn out in their favor. They're having a hard time doing the right thing, having a hard time being honest, don't want to be held accountable for any, any of their actions. They don't treat other people's people fairly, and they don't know how to make the proper decisions. So somebody could be getting some karma. And I wouldn't say that it's in, the, in a good way. Somebody uh, probably did an injustice on somebody else. And what goes around comes around. Could be dealing with a Libra. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Leo up here, Sagittarius there, Scorpio here. Somebody is saying goodbye to a false sense of security. They are moving on. They are going someplace else where, where somebody is going to pay them or they are going to take care of them or they're going to put in effort to bring back stability. Somebody has been in a situation that is very, uh, or they're, they're sick, they're ill, they're unhealthy. Okay, they have some sort of addictions or they're just very unbalanced within themselves. They're, they're trying to do too much and they're making poor decisions. They're going to need to adapt to a change because somebody, they may be taking, they may be forcing them. They may be forced, maybe it's by the law. I don't know. Somebody may be forcing them into rehab or into recovery or into the hospital. Just saying, I feel like, I feel like there's some sort of hospital here. 
or something like that. There's probably going to be some extreme sadness with the Five of Cups. There's, that's like a breakup or a separation. And this one is too with the Tower. So, so there's going to be a major life change that causes somebody to cry because these are tears. And it's going to be a very emotional time. I do think it's going to be very emotional. Somebody's going to have to work really, 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 really hard to heal. And they may need to get some help from somebody that can actually take care of them. They may need a caregiver. So I feel as though uh, somebody is going to need to pick themselves up. They're going to need to rebuild. And they're going to have to work hard to rebuild a new foundation. And it's going to take time to do that. I feel like somebody could be going away maybe even until summer. I mean, I don't even know where that's coming from. I don't think I've ever said those words before. Um, maybe it could be two years. There could have something to do with two years. I don't know. But I see that things are in... Somebody is in need of this major life change. And they've been resisting it. They have been being fake. They have been pretending. They've been refusing to... Uh, admit their mistakes okay with this one and this one they've been refusing to accept change and I think they're going to be forced to because uh, whatever they've been holding on to um, it's not real stability and in order to regain stability they're going to need some help so I feel like we have somebody here that needs help and they're going to be it's almost like they're going to be forced to go get it um, there's going to be a, there's losing friendships losing family members uh, it's just like, this is a very unhealthy situation. Um, I feel like we have this, this, this revengeful, malicious person that, you know, just can't see clearly, has no vision, has no drive, has no self-confidence, has no self-esteem. This person, um, hmm may get is very controlling and is based out of pride and ego i feel like this person is has let their uh has let superficiality get in the way of their own happiness you know now it's it's so fake that it's out of control something is out of control you know you got to come back down to reality there's not a lot of reality here except for this tower this shit ain't real that's false it's false. It's all false. This is all fake. This is a reality check. Somebody is about to get a reality check. Life is about to change. It's time to regain. Regain health. To get healthy again. So be prepared for an, a, some sort of disruption in your life that is going to force you to change that is what I got so this is not gonna be easy okay when the tower comes out it, you you're gonna it's, it, definitely gonna feel it Empress through pain there is a new life This is the birth of a new life. This this person has been an injustice. There has been an injustice, and this person is going to get a blessing. Taurus or Vir Taurus is going to say Virgo, but Taurus or Libra doesn't have to be. But this is a mother. This is the queen of all queens. She is beautiful. She is a healer. She is a giver of life. She can grow anything. She is very well experienced. This is an older person that has life experience behind their back, that has, has experienced a lot of pain and suffering. She has gained strength through compassion. I mean strength through suffering. Strength and compassion through suffering. She's a beautiful soul and she has a lot to offer. She's glowing. She's beautiful. Everybody can see her beauty. They can see her gentle grace. Everybody wants to help her because of who she is. This person receives a blessing for enduring pain. This person is going to receive something because she is a blessing. She's a mother. 
Somebody could be getting pregnant. They could be getting birth, giving birth. They could be adopting a child. She knows her value and everybody else does too. We have a very abundant person right here that has not been treated fairly. She hasn't been treated fairly. There's been an injustice. But this person is going to get something because the Empress gives birth to a new life after pain. It's a miracle. So anyway, be prepared for an emotional rude awakening to happen somewhere in your circle. Somebody is going to rehab or they're going to the hospital or they're going someplace else. It's going to be an emotional time. Everything changes and something is drastic is about to change. Somebody's going to be regaining their stability someplace else. Good luck.